Hello and welcome to Zoom TV, the show where we explore everything that flies, drives and floats and invite you along for the experience so we can hopefully teach you something and give you a little bit of fun along the way. On today's show, we're in Perth, Western Australia for the next round of the V8 Supercar Series to catch up with James Moffat, a great V8 Supercar driver and the son of a very famous supercar driver, Alan Moffat. Yeah, look, they certainly are big shoes to fill and uh, it's a question I get asked a lot, but um you know, I wouldn't change it for the world. Thanks to City Toyota, I check out one of the funkiest cars on the road, the FJ Cruiser. The FJ Cruiser takes functionality to a whole new level. And if you've ever wanted to experience a hot air balloon adventure over Melbourne, well, you can today, thanks to our Zoom TV Rewind. What you can see from up here is unlike anything in the entire world because Melbourne is one of the only cities that allows you to go hot air ballooning this close. Dan Paris does something a little bit more relaxing and a little bit more adventurous when he checks out the all new Sunliner Twist. The Twist is an absolutely superb motorhome and it's brand new to the Sunliner range. Plus we'll give you all the goss on some of our favourite events happening around Australia to do with things that fly, drive and float thanks to United Fuel Injection and of course catch up with this week's Zoom TV celebrity hitchhiker James Moffat from the V8 Supercar Championship. Happening in Perth this week by the way we're going to find out what happened a couple of weeks ago at Adelaide. Get all the goss. So put on your race suit, get your helmet ready. It's time for Zoom TV. Every family has that one family member who stands out. The one that doesn't look like any of the others and the one that does things, well, differently. The black sheep of the family. And the Toyota range is no different. The black sheep would have to be the FJ Cruiser. It definitely looks a lot different than the rest of the family. And it does things differently as well, which some people like and some people don't. But the real test of the 2015 FJ Cruiser would have to be, does it make its family proud? Well, I don't know. Does it, Ma? I think it does, definitely from the outside, but I'm not sold yet. I have to take a closer look. In case you don't know the history behind this strikingly different off-roader, the new FJ40 is modelled on one of Toyota's early 4x4s and probably one of their most famous, the Land Cruiser FJ40 from the 1960s. That's where you get those rounded headlights and the snub nose front end. Now the look's not for everyone, but I've got to tell you, it sure does stand out in the crowd. And if you're a fan of the FJ, you'll love the fact that Toyota haven't messed with the outside that much. I mean, sure, they've rounded off the rough edges and they've added, well, a little bit of Botox, but I reckon they've stayed pretty loyal to the FJ legacy. Staying with the styling theme, the interior of the FJ Cruiser is again completely unlike anything else in the Toyota range. Where you'd normally expect to find smooth dash panels and leather upholstery, instead you have these industrial looking pieces tacked in the left and the right, which makes the whole thing feel very mechanical and less overly styled. The FJ Cruiser takes functionality to a whole new level by including things like these reverse facing suicide doors. Now they don't just look great, they make getting in and out and loading gear into the back seat, well, super simple. Now, there is a reason behind their inclusion, like every other decision in the FJ Maker. Above all else, the FJ Cruiser has been built to head off-road and do it a lot. It might be favoured by mostly personal trainers these days, but this is the car built specifically to tackle some very challenging terrain. Wayne, I've got to tell you, I love the FJ. I love its old school design. It would have to be one of my favourite toys. And there's three great new features with it, Aaron, now as well. So we've got dual tanks on the vehicle now, which has got 159 litres. So driving out in the open road, looking to go the country, you're going to get over 1,000 kilometres of driving distance. We've also got a crawl function. So for those that are going off road, there's the new crawl feature added to the vehicle and also some four great new rims as well. Now, Wayne, it's time for three fast facts. You ready? Yes. Favourite feature? My favourite feature, Aaron, is the retro styling. So it's a great looking car, nice and aggressive on the road and gets a few heads turned out there when you're driving around. Okay, next one, warranty. 
The warranty is covered by three years and 100,000 kilometre warranty. And ongoing service costs. So with the servicing, the great new feature with all Toyotas is the Toyota Service Advantage. So for $220, every six months your vehicle is totally serviced. That would make it great for business owners knowing what the, everything is going to cost up front, wouldn't it? That's right. So as a business owner, you'll be looking at the whole of life costs. So for the first three years with warranty and with Toyota Service Advantage, all your costs are known for that vehicle. Under the hood is a 4 litre V6 with 260 horses of power. With that, you get a five-speed automatic gearbox that puts the muscle down to the road in smooth, predictable changes. As you'd expect with an off-roader like this, the grunt sits nice and low in the rev range, which is perfect for handling those serious inclines. And here's a fact you might like if you're into your four-wheel driving. The FJ Cruiser has been recorded climbing up an angle of 34 degrees. Now, the engine of the FJ isn't the only thing that'll guarantee you can go to the middle of nowhere and get back again the body of the FJ, she's pretty tough. She's been put together so she can handle up to 28 inches of water. Underneath, there's a pretty heavy duty skid pan that'll guarantee when you're crawling over the rocks, nothing gets hurt. And inside here, well, there's a huge amount of cargo space. So when you get back from the middle of nowhere and half of it's in the boot, all you gotta do is hose it out. The FJ also comes with ABS on all wheels, ventilated disc brakes, a host of airbags and reversing camera that pops up in the rear vision mirror when you need it. All of this technology makes the FJ one extremely safe car. Not to mention USB, Bluetooth and mobile connectivity. Now there's something you've got to understand and appreciate about the FJ Cruiser. She hasn't been built to cruise up and down cafe strips and she's definitely not been designed to blend in with all the other cars on the road. This is a tough 4x4 that's been built to take on and tackle pretty much anything and do it all with a smile on her face. And one that I think the Toyota family is pretty proud of, just as I'm sure my family is pretty proud of their black sheep. To get all the info on the new FJ Cruiser or to organise a test drive for yourself, drop in and see our mates at City Toyota or go to zoomtv.com.au. Do you want to get more out of your diesel? Well, let the team at United Fuel Injection help you. They're the experts in diesel fuel injection, turbocharging and vehicle performance technologies. Make an appointment today and get more talk out of your diesel at unitedfuel.com.au. After the break, I take to the skies in Melbourne in a balloon sunrise adventure. That's next on Zoom TV. <laughs> it's 5 a.m. in the morning and I'm here at the Langham Hotel in Melbourne to go hot air ballooning with the crew from Balloon Sunrise. You're thinking to yourself, that can't be right, he's in the middle of the city. Well it is, because today I'm going to be ballooning over the Melbourne CBD. Part of the old fashioned charm of hot air ballooning is it's completely dependent on the weather. And because the best flying conditions are early in the morning, there really is no avoiding the early morning start. However, my pilot assures me that there is no better feeling or experience than seeing the Melbourne sunrise in a hot air balloon. Balloon Sunrise has been in the game since 1986, making them the oldest commercial balloon company in Australia. And in that time, they've taken over 85,000 people on scenic flights just like this one. Okay, so I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is we are ballooning. The bad news is we're not gonna go over the top of Melbourne, but we will get close. Now that's because ballooning depends on the weather and the weather wasn't quite right to go over Melbourne, but it's still an amazing view. So Rob, how long have you been a hot air balloon pilot? I've been doing this for about 16 years. I've been involved in, uh, in ballooning. With that experience, you would have been everywhere in the world? I've done a lot of flying in Australia and a lot in Europe. And, and there's some amazing places around the world to fly hot air balloons. But Melbourne is sensational. Now, we, we couldn't fly into the, uh, the city today because of the fog, mm. but ordinarily about, what, 200 out of 365 days a year you would? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a percentage that we can't actually fly directly over the city. But there's a lot of days we do fly, even you know, like what we're doing now in the, in the outer suburbs, and it's, it's, it's great. Anyway, I've got to put some heat in. 
What you can see from up here is unlike anything in the entire world because Melbourne is one of the only cities that allows you to go hot air ballooning this close. And there she is, right over there. Now we might not be over it, but we're pretty close to it. Just like a city car is more compact than its country cousins, this basket is slightly more compact to accommodate in a city flying. But that only makes the experience more intimate and memorable for you and your friends. It literally is a combination of the old world and the new. Now, if the whole point of your balloon experience is the view, you're not going to get any better than this. You're pretty much gliding along quietly while everybody down there, they're just waking up. Whether it's a weekend escape or a midweek getaway, there's absolutely no better way at all to see Melbourne. Once you're back on Earth, you'll be whisked back to the Langham Hotel to enjoy a five-star gourmet champagne breakfast with the pilot. For details of this one-of-a-kind balloon ride, check out zoomtv.com.au. There's no better place to share the passion you have for your car, your bike, your boat or your plane than attending a live event. Thanks to United Fuel Injection, here are some of our favourite live events submitted by you. If you're a motoring enthusiast living in South Australia, you don't want to miss this event, the 5th Port Augusta Motor Show. With race boats, billy carts, dyno comps, Harley-Davidson displays and a huge range of classics, cruisers and more, there's something for everyone. It's an event not to be missed and it's happening on Saturday the 9th of May at Wharflands in Port Augusta. The New South Wales Silverwater Motor Festival showcases some of the best custom bikes and cars from around the country and you don't want to miss its 21st birthday. The Silverwater Motoring Fest is all about family entertainment and of course very special motoring machines. Hot rods, classics, competition cars and awesome bikes will all be on show with cash prizes for the best entrance. It's all happening Saturday 9th of May at Silverwater Park, New South Wales. If you're a Queenslander and you're a fan of muscle cars then you don't want to miss the annual Pelican Waters Tavern Muscle Car Tour. This muscle car cruise is not for the faint-hearted. It's 1,200 kilometres over five nights, from the 9th of May to the 14th. All types of muscle cars are welcome to take part and it only costs $100. To find out more, jump on the website. So there's some events we think you just might have fun at. Now, if you've got an event coming up or you want to find out more, go to zoomtv.com.au. Whether you're searching for a top quality new or pre-owned vehicle or a factory service with genuine Toyota parts, then City Toyota is your best option. Why? Because they're one of the most awarded Toyota dealers in Australia. And as a five-star customer service dealership, you can be sure the helpful and professional team at City Toyota will always find the right car for you at the right price with the best possible service. To find out more, go to citytoyota.net.au. After the break, Dan Paris is in the Dandenongs cruising in the all-new Sunliner Twist. We all love to get away from time to time. A break from the normal routine in pursuit of something new and I guess something exciting. The only problem is, when we do so, we leave all those little luxuries, those little comforts we love so much behind us. Or at least that's what I used to think. Say goodbye to the rat race, say hello to the Sunliner Twist. Sunliner have been Australian owned and operated for nearly 40 years. And these days, they're at the top of the motorhome game. The Twist is an absolutely superb motorhome and it's brand new to the Sunliner range. So it has all the latest technology and creature comforts. In fact, there's so much to show you. I better get cracking right now. The Twist is mounted on an Iveco chassis and it comes with all the quality of that leading worldwide car maker. The bodywork, however, is hand fitted at the Sunliner Australia factory and it's deceptively clever. Other useful features include a rollout awning for our fresco entertaining, the essential drinking water, grey water and electricity outlets and, unique to the twist, this slide out generator shelf. Normally, if you would like to travel with a portable generator, you had to store it inside somewhere and lug it out every time you wanted to use it. That's not the case with the twist. There's this convenient cabinet here for it and this very simple to use slide out drawer anytime you need it. Open the door to the Sunliner Twist and you'll think you've never left your home. 
all the comforts of your living room and the functionality of your kitchen is cleverly fitted into the interior space. Tori, this is another excellent unit. That's right. It's basically an old model brought back to life. Oh, so this one, this one's got a history. It came off the market for a while and it was so popular it's back. Exactly. A few years ago, we thought we'd give it another run with our, our modern featured finish. Yeah, I love it. It's actually, I mean, I know that's not real floorboards, that'd be far too heavy, but the dark finish here is beautiful, isn't it? And then you've got this extra space here with the cafe style uh, sitting area. I mean, it, it just opens it up, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. It allows plenty of walkway. You know, you're not getting in amongst each other's space. Yeah, I could throw my swag out right there. Perfectly. <laughs> it's a double. So, no, that suits it really well. What are some of the features in here, mate? Basically, we've got in dash GPS system, large two door fridge oven with electric burner, 1000 watt inverter, even an air conditioner, Dan. Solar panel kit, central heating, large inner spring mattress, and probably one of the best things is the large ensuite down the back of the van. All the mod cons? That's right. Oh, it's a bit of luxury out in the bush, isn't it? <laughs> now, are you ready for the piece de resistance, the feature of the twist that puts it at the top of the list? It's this slide out section that hides away when you want to travel, but extends to give you plenty more leg room inside when you're stopped. Now the twist comes with a twist. Sorry for that, I had to say it. And it's something that you wouldn't normally expect to find in a motorhome. It's this puppy, central heating. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm starting to get a little bit comfortable in this vehicle. You might see out the window. Maybe the year, at least till Christmas. To get all the info on the fantastic brand new Sunliner twist, all you have to do is get onto our website. It's zoomtv.com.au and follow the links. Do you own something incredible that drives, flies or floats? Then we want to hear about it and maybe even have you on the show. All you have to do is film a short video under two minutes long about your car, your motorbike, your four-wheel drive, your boat or your plane and tell us just what makes it so great. Then upload your video to YouTube and email the link to imazoomaholic at zoomtv.com.au. You and your car could feature on the show all around Australia. Plus, if you're the member of a motoring enthusiast club and you've got an event coming up, let us know about it and you never know, we might come along. His father was one of the most famous V8 supercar drivers Australia's ever had. James Moffat joins me next as this week's Celebrity Hitchhiker on Zoom TV. Welcome back to Zoom TV. I'm now joined by this week's City Toyota celebrity hitchhiker, James Moffat, V8 supercar driver and son of V8 supercar legend, Alan Moffat. Mate, we might as well talk about the obvious. Your father is one of the most successful drivers. Big shoes to fill. Yeah, look, they certainly are big shoes to fill and uh, it's a question I get asked a lot, but um, you know, I wouldn't change it for the world. Obviously, what Dad achieved throughout his career was an enormous amount. And, Certainly very proud of him. You've kind of got an advantage other people don't have because I, I guess your father would constantly be providing you feedback um, and his feedback would be well worth taking. Yeah, he certainly does. Um, you know, it's probably funny uh, when I first said to him when I was about 12 or 13 that I want to go go-kart racing, he was pretty keen on me not doing that. So um, I think if I went to him and said I wanted to be a golfer or a tennis player, he would have been a bit more happy with that. But certainly over the last few years, getting into V8 supercars, he's been a lot more supportive of it. And um, you know, I've been lucky obviously to have him by my side as I've been growing up, but um, also some great other people um, who have supported me along the way. Okay, now you're having a great year and you're one of the inaugural drivers for Nissan, so there's a lot on your shoulders. Yeah, well I think um, you know, the speed so far this year has been encouraging. There's been a lot of work in the off season. Um, we're only three races into the year, but you know, it feels like we're almost halfway through the year in a way. So um, that side of it has been encouraging, but you know, we've just been caught up in some unlucky incidents. The, the clips are one, you know, on the last lap, I was innocently involved in a crash between uh, Wink Up and Mostert. So that was frustrating because we had a good run going there and it would have set us up with um, some good solid points for the championship. Now, I've got to ask, when, you, when you're on the track, I mean, obviously there's adrenaline, there's passion. When you have an incident that happens that you kind of don't or feel responsible for, what happens? What happens? Oh, I think your immediate emotion is frustration and disappointment, but um, at the same time, you just have to be aware that sometimes that happens in racing. You know, there's something, some, some things you can't control, and uh, that was an incident, uh, particularly at Clipsal, where um, I probably felt worse for the guys. You know, we'd done 77 out of 78 laps. Um, we'd had a reasonably good weekend up until that point. Um, the speed of the car was strong, and we were going to bank some solid points. And 
two corners from home we get caught up in somebody else's accident and the whole front of the car is written off so it meant that the you know my mechanics and the, and the rest of the team had a huge amount of work to do that they probably didn't deserve to, to <laughs> yeah. do so frustrating start to the year and probably not where we should be in terms of uh, the points but uh, we've got this weekend at Barbagallo to start creeping ourselves way forward. Okay well I'm gonna ask you now for the fast five you ready for that? I'm ready. I'm gonna drill you see how you go. First car you ever owned? My first car was a Mazda 323 panel van. I had it for about 18 months and I, I tried my hardest to kill it, but um, I'm happy to say I did. Okay, what is your opinion of the worst car ever made? Worst car ever made, uh, this could get me in a bit of trouble, <laughs> but um, my partner, Leah, she had a Peugeot 206. Ooh. That was a terrible car. What is your opinion of the best car ever made? Best car ever made, I think uh, that's probably hard to go past the Nissan GDR at the moment. That is a serious piece of machinery. Okay, and what car do you currently drive? I drive a Nissan Murano. There you go. So it's good to uh, put my push bike in the back and uh, gets me around, so it's good. Last question, your biggest fear? Biggest fear would probably be um, not knowing what's gonna happen next. There you go, deep. I like that, that's the first one we've ever got, mate. You've been a gentleman. Thanks I'm sure so. you're gonna do really, really well, and I think you're gonna be one of the, uh, one of the champions in the Nissan, which would be a great thing to achieve. Thank you. All the best. Now you are over here at the moment at the V8 Supercars. So if anyone wants to come down, it's on this weekend. I'm sure if they uh, bump in here, you will uh, answer any questions and get a couple of pictures. Yeah, absolutely. It's, we only obviously get an opportunity to race over in the West once a year and we're always received well. And the Barbagallo circuit's one of my favorites. So uh, if you're coming out to the track, come and say good day. Okay, make sure you do. Now that's our show. We've got to go. We're all done and dusted. Don't forget the V8 Supercar Championship is on right now at Barbagallo. Gallows. Get down there if you want a great weekend. If you want to find out anything more from today's show, go to our website, zoomtv.com.au. And if you've got an event coming up, make sure you tell us about it. Click on the events page. Give us all the info. We'll give it a plug. We might even come along. Until next week, bye for now. Remember, whatever you do that zooms, make sure you do it safe. And that's a wrap.